Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Let us look at the purchases budget. At the end of this session, you should be able to prepare a purchases budget for a three month period. Now, what is a purchases budget? A purchases budget basically contains the amount of inventory that a company must purchase during each budget period to meet what is expected to be sold. So basically, what the purchases budget does is that it ensures that there is sufficient inventory on hand to meet customer orders or products. A purchases budget is similar to the production budget. It's just that the production budget is prepared by a manufacturing industry, and this shows the amount of products to be manufactured. While the purchases budget is prepared by the retailer to know how much items they need to purchase to meet your customer's demand. Now let's look at the format of the purchases budget. Earlier, I mentioned that the purchases budget is similar to that of the production budget. In a previous lesson, I've looked at the production budget. And if you missed that lesson, the link is in the description below. Now, let's just review the format of the production budget before we look at the purchases budget. For the production budget, you begin with expected sales. You add in your desired ending inventory. That is done because you want to know what is the total amount of units that are required for the budgeted period. From that, you subtract your beginning inventory because yes, these items were already produced. And then what you have based on calculation left is referred to as your products to be manufactured. So that is the production budget. Now let's move on to looking at the purchases budget. What we start with is the production needs. To that, we're going to add in our desired ending inventory. Yes, that is similar to the production budget. And that now give us what we refer to as total production that is required, the total items, units that you need. Then from that, we are going to subtract our beginning inventory. And guess what? This now give us the purchases needed. So it tells us what amount of units or kgs, and I said kgs because the question can be in kg as well, you would need for the budgeted period. So basically, this is how you prepare the purchases budget. Now we're going to move on to looking at a question for our worked example. And this question is taken from May 2021, number 3C. So that is the Cape Unit 2, May 2021 paper, and that is question 3C. So this is from module 3. The question reads, OBS Limited has provided the form 2021, and you're presented with the production units for four months. 3 kg of materials are required for each unit produced. And this information is very important. Costing $12 per kg. Target closing inventory each month should be equal to 25% of production needs for the next month. And bear in mind that the closing inventory for a period becomes the opening inventory for the next period. I need you to note that closing inventory for each month is 25% of production needs for the next month. Now, basically, if you look at, for example, we're looking at February. To get our closing inventory for February, it would be 25% of this 82,000. But bear in mind that this 25% of the 82,000 would form the opening inventory for March. If we're looking at March and we need to enter the closing inventory, it would be 25% of the 84,000 coming from April. 
Now, this 25% of the 84,000 for April would form the opening inventory for April. So remember, closing inventory from one period becomes the opening inventory for the next period. Let's continue to look at the question. Material inventory on 30th of April was 66,750 kg. Now notice that you're required to prepare a purchases budget for the three months ending April, 2021. And guess what? You are required, you are required to use kg for the unit of the products. Let us now prepare the purchases budget. Please note that you need to ensure that you put in your editing and we're looking at the three months ending April 30th. So we're looking at February, March, April, and I have included a total column just in case that concept is needed when you're writing your exam. As a reminder, before we go any further, we are to show our results in kg, where one unit is equal to three kg of materials. So that means that wherever you have units, you need to multiply those by three to get your results in kg. The first thing that we are going to record is the production needs and notice for each month, you're presented with the production needs in units. So it therefore means that for each month, you need to multiply by three in order to get the amount to be entered in your budget. So for February, we're going to multiply the 75,000 units by three to get our result to be entered in the budget and that gave us an amount of 225,000. We're going to do the very same for March multiplied by three. So it is 82,000 multiplied by three to get the amount in kg and that is 246,000. For April, it is the 84,000 multiplied by three and the amount in kg is 252,000. Our total, or grand total for the production needs for the budgeted period is 723,000. Now we're going to move into adding our ending inventory. As a reminder, the ending inventory for each month, which is our closing inventory for each month, should be equal to 25% of the production needs for the next month. So for February, we need to ascertain 25% of the March production needs, which is 82,000. And for our calculation, that is 82,000 multiplied by 25%. And this would give us 20,500 units. But we need to report our results in kg. So we're gonna multiply that by three. And this gives us an amount of 61,500 for the ending inventory for February. We're gonna apply the same concept for March. So to get the ending inventory for March, we're gonna pick up the production units for April, multiply that by 25%. When you get your results in units, you're gonna convert that to kg by multiplying by three. And that gives us an amount of 63,000. Now notice, coming from the question, the closing inventory, the ending inventory for April is 66,750 kg. That is already in kg. There's no need for us to do any, any conversion. So all we need to do is to record that 66,750 in our budget. And our total ending inventory for the budgeted period is 191,000. 250 kg. Once we have our ending inventory, we are now able to calculate our total products required. For February, it is a 225,000 plus 61,500 that give us a result of 286,500. March, it is 246 plus 63,000 
that give us 309,000. And for April, it is 252 plus 66,750. And this gives us 318,750. Now our total, total products required is 914,250. And there are two ways to get this. You can add up the total products required for each month. That will give you the total. Or you can just simply add up your grand total for the production needs for the budgeted period with your ending inventory for that budgeted period, total inventory for that budgeted period. And that should give you 914,250. Our next step is to ascertain our beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is the closing inventory from the previous period. And how did we get our closing inventory? Remember, that is simply 25% of the production needs for the next month. Basically, when you calculate the ending inventory, it will become the opening inventory for the next period. So when we looked at calculating the ending inventory for February, which was 82,000 multiplied by 25%, whatever you get for the ending inventory for February becomes the opening inventory for March. What I'm trying to say is that for the current month that you're looking at, to get your opening inventory, you would multiply that by 25%. Why I'm stressing that is that if you check the question, you would notice that you were not presented with the opening inventory for February. So if it is that you are preparing for January, it would simply mean that the ending inventory for January would have been 25% of February's production needs. And this 25% that would form the ending inventory for January would become our opening inventory for February. So simply to get our opening inventory for the current month, it is 25% of the production needs. So to get February's opening inventory, it is 75,000 multiplied by 25%. And when you get your results, that would be in units. So you have to multiply by three to convert that to kg. And our result after calculation is 56,250 kg. For March, we're just going to transfer the ending inventory from February to the opening inventory for March, which is 61,500. And if it is that you go back to the question and ascertain 25% of March production needs and multiply that by three, you would still get the very same amount for the opening inventory. For April, the closing inventory coming from March, which is 63,000, would form the opening inventory, and that is 63,000 kg. Our total beginning inventory for the budgeted period is 180,750. And we are now at calculating our purchases needed for the period. For February, it is total products required less the opening inventory. And that give us a purchases need of 230 to 50 kg. March, it is 309,000 minus 61,500, and that gives us 247,500. April, 318,750 minus 63,000 give us 255,750. And our total purchases needed for the three months period, that budgeted period, is 733,500. That takes us to the end of completing this question taken from May 2021, number three, accounting unit two paper. And we were required to show our results in KG in another session. 
I will look at us showing the results in units. So just to recap, in order for you to prepare the purchases budget, what you'd need to do is to pick up your production needs, add your desired ending inventory, and that would give you total production required. From that, you would list your beginning inventory, and then that would give you the purchases that is needed for the period in order for you to meet demands of your customers. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.